When it's cold outside, it's drizzling, what do you think of? Soup. Pumpkin soup. And I love pumpkin soup. Now, we're doing one with a little bit of a twist today. We're doing a Thai pumpkin soup. This is my favourite pumpkin soup recipe because pumpkin, as you know, is a very sweet vegetable, though in actual fact it's a fruit. And so we're going to counteract that sweetness with some red Thai curry paste, some lemongrass, some lime, other few yummies, and we're going to end up with this smooth, delicious pumpkin soup, which served with crusty bread for me is perfect in front of the telly on the Sunday night. Perfect. Let's start. Let's start. Need some onion in the pot. A couple of cloves of garlic, but I always leave the garlic until we've actually sweated off the onions because if you burn garlic, it goes very, very acrid and bitter, very, very nasty. Back to the pumpkin. Always have a flat surface you're cutting against and always yep. think, where can your knife slip when you're actually cutting it? Have it always going down towards the board is my recommendation. Now this is a butternut pumpkin, which is a lovely sweet pumpkin, but it's also reasonably hard. One of my other favourite pumpkins is the Kent pumpkin. So when I was actually walking around Spudshed today, there was a lot of different pumpkins. Are they yes. like potatoes where one for one thing, one for the other, or is it just a personal taste? I think with pumpkins it's actually a personal, personal. taste. You know, whether you're going to mash them, it doesn't seem to have the same effect as potatoes where some are perfect for chips and some are perfect yeah. for a salad. Now, the next thing we're going to pop in here is lemongrass. Now, lemongrass, people can get a bit confused about. They're not sure which part of it to use. It's a wonderful lemony herb. What I do with it is cut the base off and then you peel the tough outer leaves off. Now, the bit you want is the white. So what I do is get the base of the knife and go whack on the base and then I chop it up and then when you feel it start going a bit stringy, stop. In she goes. Perfect. Now we need some salt to go in there. Of course, we need our red curry paste. Oh, you get that smell straight away. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And I've used red curry paste as against green because it's an orange vegetable. No other reason. <laughs> but if you, so if you've got the green, it's fine. Yeah. And now if you could just top that with stock. And then we're going to let that simmer until the pumpkin is very, very tender. And then we're going to blitz it. And then we're going to add a few other sort of finishing touches. Sounds great. Sounds good. Now look at this pumpkin. It's tender. And it needs to be nice and tender too so that you get a lovely creamy soup. You don't want bits floating in no. it, do you? So the next thing we need to do is just give it a bit. Now, I'm using a handheld blender here just because it's an easy thing to do. And I'm just sort of stabbing it down. You can put it in your blender or your any other device that you've got. And once I've broken down the big bits, now we can move it through with a little bit more ferocity. OK. It's a good device, these, aren't they? Because you can do it all in one pot. Makes uh, hard work easy. Now, that's looking lovely and smooth now. We need to finish it off, so we need some fish sauce and we need some coconut cream, all of that. And then we need some lime. Try half a lime first okay. and then we'll taste. It's important to taste your food as you're cooking it. That's a juicy lime. Stir that up. Lovely colours. Beautiful colour. The other lime, please. OK. And just a tad more fish sauce. Perfect. That balanced it all out? Balanced it out beautifully. Excellent. Oh, wow, that smell, man. Smells nice. Beautiful. And just a little bit of coriander on top and some lovely crusty bread and Sunday night in front of the telly. How perfect is that? I'm already sitting down eating it. 